So basically a digital learning coach is, um, is a classroom teacher who helps other teachers um, implement technology into the classroom. So that can go anything as small as um, helping another teacher with uh, using Edpuzzle or a Pear Deck or something like that in their classroom if they're a little bit unsure of how to use that program. Additionally, uh, a DLC or a digital learning coach can um, can work one-on-one -on -one with the teacher, schedule several appointments, and working on uh, reaching a, a longer-term goal. A couple of things excite me quite a bit about this role is one, I get to work with my colleagues. Um, I get to assist them in uh, that implementation of the technology. Um, I really like working one-on-one. -on -one. I really like uh, building uh, relationships with them and collaborating with them, finding ways in which we can go through and really make the classroom experience for our students that much better. So we're looking right now at a couple of different things to support teachers. Uh, right now we're looking at developing a mentorship program where we can work uh, and have more of a full coaching cycle. Uh, that was something that was somewhat disrupted because of COVID. We're looking at, at really identifying some of the things that stress teachers out about uh, Schoology and really start doing some next level things to, to speak to some concerns that teachers have and how to make it work even better to support the needs of the students. We're also looking at doing more to support and work with our SPED tech team uh, to support the needs of students with IEPs in the classroom and also to support the teachers too, to support those students. So the DLCs are so easy to work with. Like their intention is to make you look good. This is the only school district that I've ever worked in. So everything that I know about education technology is from workshops or from individually working with them. It gives me like power, it gives me confidence in what I'm doing. Uh, so I can teach in a variety of ways, whether using Pear Dex or Google Docs, um, using Schoology day to day. Like they've given me uh, the ability to just feel confident with whichever technology is going to be best for my teaching. Okay, they're like, like my lifesavers. Yeah. Um, because at that time, I was teaching four to five different classes, different courses, and I was new to the program and I felt I was drowning and I went to a workshop where they introduced, first introduced DLC and I go, okay, I'll sign up. So I was the first one to sign up and, and um, very soon we made that appointment and I started meeting a DLC on a regular basis almost every single week and, and he helped me um, set up my class calendar, which is great because having four or five different classes just like I felt my brain was, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't get organized and that really bothered me a lot. As a teacher, I have to continue to grow and part of that growth is collaboration. Um, and the biggest takeaway is that, that I depend on the DLCs for that growth within myself as a teacher. I don't think without the DLCs, I'd be where I am now. I wouldn't be collecting the data the way I do now. And I definitely don't think like here, within our transition program, we would be where we are now without them. It's going to be uncomfortable, and, um, and you're going to fail. Uh, whatever application you're trying to do, if you stay with it, you're gonna learn, you're gonna enjoy it. And to me, that's what makes this craft of teaching really fun and exciting, is trying new things. And sometimes I try new things and, and it's like, that didn't work, I'm not ever gonna do that again. But it takes sometimes more than once to learn a new skill. And after I do that, sometimes I get comfortable. It's like, that was worth it, and now I'm still using it today. I know when I first started using the Pear Deck, it was, my comfort level wasn't very easy, so it was very helpful to have that digital learning coach here to support you when you ran into trouble, and so uh, definitely they, they were able to do that. I could think of, you know, going back a few years when I first started to do Wii videos and having, again, someone in the classroom to help with that. Uh, very helpful to have that resource help a digital learning coach to be there in the classroom to help you when you try something new.